Alright, what's going on people? It's your favorite nerd, Prince Kazami, here to bring you guys a new video. What's going on, everybody? Um, so today we're going to be talking about the Mass Effect 3 demo, but mainly the multiplayer. Now I'm going to give you guys um, basically my experience with the, um, with the Mass Effect demo as far as single player. Never really played Mass Effect. I really didn't want to get into the series because I didn't have an Xbox at the time to get into the series, but I played the Mass Effect 2 demo. It was cool. Played the Mass Effect 3 demo. It, it was pretty nice. I liked it. You know, it was cool. Um... You know, really my first time playing, my brother Tom been telling me to get into Mass Effect, his, his favorite series, <clears throat> for a long time. And, uh, you know, I actually played and I actually liked it. You know, I might even pick it up one day. So, you know, we'll see. Um, but the thing that really makes me want to pick up this game and what I want to get into is, like, kind of a win and a fail at the same time is the multiplayer of this game. Now, February 17th, which is a few days ago, they released the multiplayer for this game. So I'm up at, like... Uh, one o'clock in the morning because I know they were gonna release the uh, multiplayer. I actually forgot about it, but I got on there to play it and I seen that the multiplayer was online, so I finally got on there and played it. And to my surprise, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I was playing, I played it like cracked. I played it over a good 20 times already. It's playing it, and you know, it's not one of those, mo it's not cooperative, it's uh, it's cooperative. I mean, it's not, it's not competitive, it's cooperative uh, multiplayer where basically. This is the point where I'm about to get into. It's basically like Gears of War. You know, you fight hordes in waves of, you know, whatever the people are. Because, like I said, I've never played Mass Effect. You you fight these other aliens or whatever that yeah, run into you. I think it's Assault Soldiers and Centroids and um, Nemesises and everything else, whatever. And you basically fight them, you know, and they do have objectives there, you know, you have to go on um, capture objectives and other stuff like that during certain waves, you know, it goes wave one, wave two, then probably objective, then wave four, wave five, then objective, something like that. And I did like it, I liked it a lot. Um, I can't really say anything I don't like about the game, you know, it's really not one of those cooperative games where you have, you just have everything, you know, you have to work, you have to actually play and hustle and then once you level up, every time you level up they give you points where you can level up like uh, your health, your fatigue, uh, your frag grenades and, and your powers and everything like that, get new guns, new powers, all that stuff. They give you credits as well as far as points. It's a different, it's a point system, it's a credit system. When you level up I think you get like six points or something like that or maybe, it all depends on how you level up or when you level up and then you get a credit system where you buy other guns and stuff like that. So as far as the gameplay, I really like it. You know, I, I played it online. I played it with some randoms, and it was pretty cool. It It's really not one of those games where you can just run out there. Like I said, it's like Gears of War, where you just can't run out there and just shoot, 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 and, and think you're going to win. No, it's not It's not Uncharted or Call of Duty or anything like that with the co-op. No, you have to actually play with a strategy on this because you will die in, a, in an instant. It has happened so many times when I played it and it's pissed me off but I keep going back and playing. Now I've heard in the comment section somebody told me it plays the same as Gears of War because it's on the same engine, the Unreal Engine, which is cool but then it, it, it actually, I actually asked myself, you know, some of these games, do they really need multiplayer? I mean seriously, I'm not knocking Mass Effect for having a cooperative multiplayer because some games out here have competitive multiplayers that don't even need competitive multiplayers for example Assassin's Creed that had to be the gayest multiplayer I have ever played it's like Tom and Jerry Creed oh yep run over here and chase me oh yep I'm going over there but wait before you kill me I'm gonna jump in this hay over here and you can't see me because but but wait when you walk past I'm gonna knife you in the back like Michael Myers Oh, wait, uh, you're chasing me again? Okay, well, I'm going to go over here. But wait, before you try to kill me, there's five other motherfuckers over here that look just like me. So wait, if you try to kill me, you better make sure you're killing the right one. Because if you don't, you're going to lose points. Really? Really? The fuck out of here, yo. It had to be the dumbest multiplayer I have ever played, yo. I was like, are you serious, yo? And I actually played it a few times. I played Revelations and, um... What was the one? Brotherhood. Brotherhood and Revelations. Had debated the both of them. Hated it. I was like, this shit is so fucking retarded. But, and then Dead Space. You know, it's like, I had debated that. And I'm like, this shit is just terrible. Why do they add multiplayer to some of these games that don't need multiplayer? Like, for a while, it was just a rumor. And I think it still is just a rumor. But they were talking about, oh, yeah, the next God of War is going to have multiplayer. Why? Why? 
I mean, if you have two characters, if you have Kratos and another character that, that's actually as good as Kratos, that can bond together and fight, you know, in a cooperative mode, then yeah. But any other multiplayer besides that, no. Most of these games have been single player games for the majority of the whole series. Do not add multiplayer and mess it up. And I feel like what they're doing with Mass Effect, it's not messing it up, but it's just like Gears. There's no originality. I mean, yeah, it does kind of differ from Gears in a way, but it's basically the same thing as horror mode, honestly. Honestly. And it's, it, it's a fail in that department, but it's still a win because it's actually so fun when you play it with a team. It really is. But I just feel like some games just really don't even need multiplayer. I'd rather, ha I'd rather Mass Effect, you know, I like the multiplayer, the competitive multiplayer, but I'd rather Mass Effect even add like cooperative story mode. That'd be cool, you know. But, th I mean, I'm really, I'm calling it a win. I don't know what you guys want to call it. You can leave comments below, tell me what you think. But, it's just some games out here just do not need multiplayer. And it's like, wow, yo. And this is like the first game that I've seen where the majority of the series was single player and they had multiplayer. And I actually liked it, really. Because they actually did a good job. I can't even hate the multiplayer. It's fun when I played it. It's just like it's just too much like gears. It's just too much like gears. It's just like yo, cause I talked I actually talked to Hump Master Flex on Skype. I was um I was in the Skype chat with BG and a few other people, and I Hump Master Flex was in there, and and he asked everybody, you know, did you guys play the um, did you guys play the Mass Effect Three demo yet? And I was like, yeah, the shit was just like gears. He was like, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like yeah, so I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you think about it. Do you think the multiplayer is fun? Do you think the multiplayer is a win or a fail? Is it too much like Gears? Leave any thoughts below. And uh, this is your favorite night, Prince Kazama, and I'm out.